Milwaukee Public Library and this week's bird themed Kids Maker Monday is going to be a balancing bird toy. So you should have this template in your pack from the library and it has all the instructions up at the top but you're gonna start by cutting out your bird so just keep that in mind and you wanna save those instructions. But you're gonna need that template, something to color your bird, colored pencils, crayons, whatever works. You're gonna need some toothpicks you're going to need two pennies, or maybe dimes would work too. Probably a nickel might be a little too heavy. Um, you're gonna need a glue stick, scissors, and some tape. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is cut out your bird from the template. And remember, keep those instructions because you're gonna want those later. Um, and you can also color your, I guess you could color your bird before you cut it out, um, or you could color it afterwards. Um, but we wanna make sure you include that tail piece too from the template. And then once you have it cut out, you're going to make a few cuts in the body. So the place where the wing attaches to the head, you're gonna make a slit on each of those. And then where the wing attaches to the tail piece, you're gonna cut that line. And then the two dashes in the middle of the tail, you're also going to cut those. All right, now you're going to fold your bird in half right along where the head piece is. So you're just gonna carefully line up the heads and push in the fold, and then line up the wings and push those in too. And then the tail piece, you can fold in half also right down the tail. You're gonna take your glue stick and glue the head parts together. So you can see kind of where the glue goes and you wanna make sure you get it all the way up towards that B because you want the head to stay together. You can fold that back to press the glue in sure it's lined up and if it doesn't seem like it's sticking very well or if that skinny part of the beak is a little bit too flimsy you can also add a piece of tape to keep the head together as well then you're going to want to make a little bit of a bend in the wing just kind of right where the feather pattern stops just a little bit of a fold so that it kind of makes like a wing kind of shape just to keep them a little bit stiffer. And then flip your bird over, and it should look kind of like this. So you've got a little bit of a bend in the wings, and then you're going to tape your toothpick across the wings. So you can see I'm kind of putting it just like the top of a T across the wings there, and it's gonna help stick your wings up. So you're gonna put a piece of tape on either side, just kind of taping those wings so they stay open. Kind of like a, the cross on a kite would be. All right, now it's time for us to go back to the tail. So we're gonna flip this over and just stick the tail in between the two little slits that we cut. And it should stay, but you can also apply a small piece of tape down here if you'd like, just to keep it in place. All right, now we've got our tail piece and we've got our wings. So next we're gonna apply the two balancing pieces and that's our two coins. So you're gonna roll a piece of tape, um, kinda two, to make two-sided tape, just like that, a little bubble of tape, and you're gonna apply it right to the tip of the wings. One for each side. Okay. All right, now you're gonna wanna check the balance on these. So to really balance well, if you're to get your bird to balance well, these are gonna need to be adjusted a little bit. So the way you're gonna test it is to place the beak right on your finger and let go. Oh, he's going a little bit upside down. So we're gonna need to adjust our weights on his wings. So we're gonna flip them over carefully and I think this guy needs to go up a little more, but it's kind of just trial and error to see what makes him balance the best. Oh, nope, he's still flipping over, so let's try moving it the other direction. Do you think that will help? We'll put him on our finger. All right, so we moved the weights down the wings a little bit, and you can see now that he's balanced right on the end of my finger. So you've got this balancing bird toy. 
and you can switch them off and you can try moving them around a little bit too to see what makes the best balance or if you can make them look like he's flying. Enjoy!